today at six, a severe blow for Boris Johnson as the Conservatives lose two by-elections in the north and south of England. <laughs> Lib Dem Joy, they overturn a massive Tory majority to take the Devon seat of Tiverton and Honiton. The people of Tiverton and Honiton have spoken for the British people and they've sent a loud and clear message. It's time to show Boris the door. In Wakefield in West Yorkshire, it was Labour's turn to celebrate. They regained the seat they lost to the Tories at the general election. Now we've had the sort of swing that puts us on track, not just for a Labour government, but for a majority Labour government. So this is hugely significant for the Labour Party. Thousands of miles away, the Prime Minister at a Commonwealth meeting in Rwanda sought to brush off the defeats. Yes, it's absolutely true that uh, we've had some, some tough by-election results and uh, they've been, I think, uh, a reflection of a lot of things, but we've got to recognise that uh, voters are going through a tough time at the moment. But the Tory party chairman, Oliver Dowden, has resigned from the cabinet, saying we cannot carry on with business as usual. We'll bring you all the latest. And our other major story this evening. We did it! In the US, a landmark decision that's led to triumph. And despair as America's Supreme Court votes to overturn a woman's constitutional right to abortion. It's so vindicating to know that we can now take tangible steps to lessen the violence of abortion in our country. It doesn't matter what they say. Again, abortions will continue. They just won't be legal and women will die from botched abortions. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, wickets tumble for England as they fail to make early headway in the New Zealand first innings as they chase a series whitewash at Headingley. Good evening. Boris Johnson has suffered a series of major political blows, with the Conservatives losing two by-elections in the north and south of England and the party's chairman resigning from the Cabinet. It's the first time that a governing party has lost two by-elections on the same day for over 30 years. Tiverton and Honiton in Devon, a former Tory stronghold, saw the Lib Dems overturning a massive 24,000 majority to take the seat. And Labour regained Wakefield in West Yorkshire, a seat it had lost to the Conservatives in 2019. Following the defeats, the Tory party chairman Oliver Dowden has resigned, saying in a letter to Boris Johnson that we cannot carry on with business as usual. And the former party leader, Michael Howard, has said that Mr Johnson should step down. But the Prime Minister on a trip to Rwanda was defiant, saying that there was more for his government to do. Here's our deputy political editor, Vicky Young.